Hey guys, it's Joanne. Thanks for coming back to watch, or if you're first time watchers, um, please subscribe. I hope I won't let you down with my videos. Uh, so I just wanted to come on and show you um, two hauls, I guess. Um, one is from Michaels and one is from, oh God, I keep forgetting the name of the place, um, Outer Banks Country Store. All right, because remember guys, we're going country crafting. So I had to get some supplies and I have some ideas in mind of what I'm gonna be doing. Um, these are all barn stars that I made and I am going to be putting up a tutorial um, of these next. All right, so it might bore some of you that aren't into that, um, but others that are, these are really easy and cute to make and I don't know I love them I absolutely love them all right so we'll start off with the Outer Banks Country Store it's an online shop um, that sells a lot of country um, I, don't know, I guess items to use for your crafting so I didn't order too much um, but all right so let's start off we ordered these bells the glasses on and these are just rusted rusted bells I love them I love the rustic primitive look to them all right so we're definitely going to I actually should have saved my um, invoice or had my invoice to tell you guys how much they were but I think they were I want to say they were a quarter a piece but I had to order eight, I guess 10 of them. Like you had to order a certain amount, but they were really cheap. Maybe they were less than a quarter a piece, but I love them. The rusted um, look and they work. And these are gonna go on a lot of projects I have coming up. All right, and then I also ordered, um, this is 1.4. Five inch primitive stars and again they're also the rusted rusted metal I love those two so those we have four of I don't oh nope sorry we have five of those this one's stuck together so we have five of those love them oh guys I'm so excited um, I haven't had too much time to come in here um, like all week I haven't been in this room all week long and it's just because we're setting up the backyard summer's coming um, and it's actually done I think we're done with the backyard and I am actually oh, sorry I'm saying actually too much I'm going to um, do a video of the backyard just to show you because I love my backyard in the summertime I love my backyard all the time um, but in the summer is when we actually you know get the most use out of it all right so we also ordered this is fabric strips one and a half inches by 45 and it says 12 pieces so let's see I'll start with one Okay, so this is the piece. Let's see if we can show. Okay, so I plan to use this as ribbon in my projects. That's pretty country, right? I love that. Just picture that, like tied up in a bow with some of these bells hanging off of it. And remember, I did my haul from the Dollar Tree. Hang on, guys. I gotta get under here. And I bought this wreath. The grapevine wreath that I want to do something with. So I'm sure I can use the ribbon, the bells, the stars. We can make this all come together and work, right? All right. And please, any of you ladies out there that are into the country crafting, give me, give me ideas. The 
last thing I ordered from them, and I didn't place a really big order because I wasn't sure how everything was going to look, um, but I did order these. These are the twigs with the berry vines. This piece was 75 cents. And I think, like, obviously I'm going to cut this up and, you know, use this on projects. But I think 75 cents was pretty good. And I think I should go on and order more. But, you know, we'll see. I, I can't spend, like, all my money on that. Well, hubby wouldn't let me spend all the money on this, so... But um, I do like this, and I think this is definitely worth 75 cents because this could go into a bunch of different projects. Okay, so that is my haul from the country store. And I'll give you the name once again. It's Outer Banks Country Store. So we'll put all that back in the box. And then I did go to Michael's. I had a $25 gift card for my birthday, I think, from my son, for Michael. And, you know, with all this stuff, I'm painting a lot. And I have so many acrylic paints, but I really haven't used them in about two years, probably. So as I was using them, I was finding that they were too thick or dried up. So I need to replace all of that. So what I did... I bought some basic colors this time. I bought some black paints. Now these are deco art and these are both the same. These are just black. Basic black acrylic paint. And then I found this one um, from Folk Art and it's an outdoor. So I have something I want to use this for. And I guess outdoor, I'm hoping that, you know, if you put it outside and it rains or the weather, it holds up. So we'll have to see how that works. And then I bought this color. This is Robin's Egg Blue. Um, I don't know. I love this color. I just redid, like, my kitchen with all different um, accessories in that, in that color. Uh, so, all right, so I got this one, the Robin's Egg Blue in the Craft Smart. I mean, these are pretty cheap. They're like 70-something cents a bottle. But I did buy the Folk Art Chalk Paint in that color as well, but it's called something else. Patine? It has, like, furniture on there. I'm not going to use it on furniture. Oh, my God, guys, we... Um, got a new dining room set and it came yesterday and we ordered it from Wayfair oh and it's absolutely beautiful the only thing I guess we did not realize ordering from Wayfair that when it got here we were going to have to put everything together I figured we would have to put the table together but I thought maybe the chairs would come like maybe two in a box but no we had to put the chairs together too um it took it took a couple hours, but we had a system down, and my husband and I did it together, and it just looks amazing. So I'm actually going to take a picture of that and put that as my... Th uh, I don't want to put that as my thumbnail for this one because I wanted to do my country thumbnail for this one. I don't know. I'll figure it out, guys. Okay, back to Michael's. Um, then we have this. This one's white. It's called Cotton Ball Multi-Surface Satin White. And I'm going to tell you, I was just looking for a white. I don't even think that I realized this was a multi-purpose satin. I don't know what that means. But that's all right. You always need white because I'm going to start doing my um, plaques. And then we bought... All right, so this. This is a... It's called Pickling Wash. And it's actually a stain. It's a gray stain. And I don't know. I never knew that these, you know, these little acrylic paint sections had like stain to them. Um, I did use this a little bit with, and I was testing it with the chalk paint here to try and get like a rustic look. And I'm still testing it and working on it. But I'm thinking that that'll work. You know, it'll look pretty cool once I figure it out uh, with a little sanding and that. 
Um, but this is pretty cool. It's, it's stain. It's stain. So, you know, I guess in the end, maybe it's cheaper than buying, um, like, actual paint brand stain. I don't know. And then I got gold glitter and multi-glitter just because I love glitter and we have to somehow make this work in our country projects because we just love it so much. Everything's better with glitter, right? Um, and then I bought this brown um, ink pad to go around the edges to kind of make it look like a weathered I, I like the way people are doing that now with just going around the edges of paper and um, I plan on using it on the edge of my plaques just kind of give them that older you know not so new look so we have that and then I also bought these and I did open them because I was trying to get a I have a picture that I really like and I'm trying to get that on a stencil and then we have these birch wood cuttings that I will eventually figure out how to um, get the picture I want onto a stencil and then I'm going to paint it onto here. And I think those would look adorable. And I think it's a, you know, it's a picture that everybody will like. Well, not everybody, but you know, whether you're country or not, I think you'll like it. Um, this is the picture. The secret. I don't want to show you guys just yet. Um, so that's that. So that was Michael's in my country store. And whatever else. So we'll put this back in here. Um, today is Sunday. And it's a terrible day. It's Memorial Day weekend. Yesterday was beautiful, hot, sunny. Um, today's just been raining all day and tomorrow it's not supposed to rain, but it's supposed to be cool. So, um, my plan is actually to get some crafting done tomorrow. I think my husband thinks I'm crafting now, but I'm actually making all my videos. I'm not getting anything done, but, um, I do want to get things done. I have some ideas and I think we're going to like them. I think we're all going to like them. And I'm hoping to get maybe some new, some new followers into, that are into, you know, more of the country thing that, um, you know, like to watch me. Actually, over here, I did get another thing from Allie that I did not show. And, you know, it's funny, like, I don't know, you go on that website and things just look different than they are and then you get them in the mail and it's this big it's like as big as my as big as my thumb but this was also for Christmas and these are let's take a couple of them out these are I don't even know what these are some flowers I guess they're not really Christmassy maybe I was just thinking country at the time that looks like a perfume bottle um, some flowers. These are all stickers. Some more flowers. That one's a wreath. So they're cute and all, but I don't know. I think Allie, I don't know if it's misleading. I mean, what can we really expect if we're only paying a dollar, two dollars for these things? But I don't know. I guess in my mind, it's, it's bigger than it actually is when it gets here. So, eh, whatever. We'll use them for something, right? All right, um, guys, have a good night. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.